Yo, what's going on, everybody? Yugi Fine Foyer, and I'm here with the uh, Hermit Yokai or the Yosenju deck profile for the January 2015 format. And this is TCG. Well, it will be TCG when these cards are legal uh, come February 13th. So, right now, it's mainly OCG, but of course, when the deck comes out, when the Arctic comes out, this entire deck will be TCG legal with no OCG cards. Uh. Can't wait for the 13th. So close. Go this way. Anyway. So this is sort of a different take on the Hermit Yokai. And it's more a little bit of a control variant. I like it a lot. Now, this isn't entirely my build. I actually found this on a uh, Yukio Facebook group I belong in. And I thought it was interesting. I tried it out. Changed it a little bit in terms of the, maybe the trap lineups and a little bit of the spell lineup uh, to kind of suit my needs uh, a little bit more that I felt were more necessary, at least that will work for me personally. So, you know, it's not really all my build, so, but I did kind of tweak it a little bit to my liking, which, you know, in my opinion, you know, you should do in deck, you know, tweak it to your play style and your liking, so that way, you know, you feel more comfortable with the deck. But anyway... Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, we're playing four of each of the level four uh, units into monsters. I'm not going to try to pronounce their names, because, uh, one, I will butcher the living shit out of them, because I'm very bad at pronouncing their names. Uh, <coughs> and I don't think I'm ever going to be good at pronouncing their names, so I'm, not, I'm just going to skip that part. So, pretty much, the main goal of the deck is to kind of stun your opponent with these guys, with your traps, and kind of with these guys as well, and just kind of form the field, and slowly beat your opponent down with, with not really super weak monsters, but, you know, not, like, as super powerful as some decks can actually offer up. Now, another thing is that this deck is also built based off what I am building IRL, so that's one reason why you see you no know, Vanity's Emptiness is the fact that I don't own any Vanity's Emptinesses and I don't plan on buying any because they're way, still way too expensive for me to even attempt to buy. I pro Actually, I could buy them, but I'm not due to the fact that I just don't want to pay that much money for cards. I'm sorry, I don't. <laughs> Call me a bad player, but I'm not paying that much money for a piece of cardboard. I'd rather, if I'm spending like that much money on, I'd rather buy a game. Sorry, I, I would. But anyway, so this guy right here that you see basically is your searcher. Whenever a Yosinju monster you control other than himself, this is out battle damage to your opponent. Now uh, you can add one Yosinju card from your deck to the hand. Very nice. I want you to add these innocence. It's sort of like the Infernity Archfiend innocence that allows you to pretty much get any Yosinju monster you want. Any Yosinju card you want, you can have it. It's just that freaking good. Uh, this guy right here basically uh, allows you to return a face of card your opponent controls to the hand. So it allows you to pretty much get rid of annoying threats that can't be destroyed by card effects or something like that. You just, oh, I return it back to your hand. Uh, this one right here basically uh, can attack your opponent directly. And here is your obligatory honest of the deck. Now, each of the Ascension monsters, except for him, have the ability to net you a free normal summon upon their summoning. So pretty much whenever they're normal summoned, you can normal summon another... You'll send you monster from your hand, uh, except for themselves. But you can get around this. It's sort of like how Ma and Pa Hunter work in the Family Thunder deck, which is why decks like these can tend to have a good matchup against things like Shy Dolls, because you're not technically using up a special summon, you're using up a nor another normal summon, so you can still go into things like one on one and stuff like that to suck up to suck up things like Medrash. So that's a really cool feature about the deck. Uh, but you can't just go, like, summon you to summon you, use your effect, summon him, his effect, summon him. You know, you can't just kind of bounce off each other, but you can't just summon, uh, him, like, this guy, like, two of these guys with their effects. Um, uh, like I said, this guy right here, uh, is the only one that doesn't have the added effect, but he's already amazing. Uh, basically, he's already amazing as is, because he's an honest. He's a two-way honest, which is really nice. Uh, basically... During either player's damage step, when a Yosinju monster you control battles an opponent's monster, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, and that monster you control gains a thousand attack to the end of the turn, which is really awesome. He's pretty much Kalut. He's like pretty much exactly like Kalut, except you're not, instead of 1400, it's a thousand, it's 400 less attack, but still, it's pretty much Kalut, uh, which is really awesome. But unlike Kalut, which has, and even like, like, unlike Honest, he has the eye effect of. When he's on the field, you can target a Yosinji monster you control and increase attack by a thousand 
points. Now, that's during your turn only. The uh, the first effect is, of course, during your first turn, but the second effect is during your turn. But it's really nice to get some free cheap damage in, and it is one of the ways you can get over some big annoying monsters, which a lot makes this very much more uh, viable. And of course, I'm playing one of each of the pendulums, not playing the big one. I have my reasons why, uh, because it's not the pendulum version, it's more control. But these are pretty much here to keep things like the secret techniques alive, allow me to play my secret techniques during my opponent's turn, since during, since during the end of the turn when these guys are normal summon, they return back to my hand. So I need a way to keep secret techniques alive. And plus, it has the added bonus of I can just spam fuck the field if I have both of them on the field and my pendulum zones, and I can just spam the field with a bunch of Yosinju monsters and either proceed to exceed out of my ass or just beat my opponent down with little Yosinju monsters. Anyway, for the spells, we have three Tinky, two Yoka uh, Yokai Shrine of Trials, one Raigeki, two Dark Hole, one Dimensional Fissure, three Diwali, and then du and Triple MST. Now, Shrine is pretty much the Gateway to the Samurai of the deck, but a more watered down and more balanced version. Now, I'm, now the reason it's like Gateway is the fact that it doesn't have the you know some of the added bonuses that Gateway does, uh, but it does net you a search, which is really cool. Uh, pretty much whenever you normal summon or special summon a Harmony Yokai monster, you can play this one Harmony Yokai counter on the card, and you can remove Harmony Yokai counters from this card to activate these effects. Uh, the first one. Oh, sorry for the yawn. The first effect, pretty much, you can gain a 3 monster attack. If, but it's the second one you really want to use is you move 3 counters, you can add a 1 Harmony Yokai card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. You can only use the effect once per turn. That is awesome. So pretty much, if you are down your luck and you need some Yoshi new monsters back in your hands, but you still have plays in your hand, you can pretty much get you can in a sense get back your honest. This is why trials is so good. Not only can you get your like your, your yokai monsters, you can get your secret techniques, but you can get back your honest from your graveyard and continue to use honest. So in a sense, you have like infinite honests. And I say in a sense because, you know, you can't miss T at all, but, you know, you think about it in the long run, it's like, okay, you know, I can just keep bringing out the honors, keep boosting my monsters. This, this thing will never go away, which is nice. Uh, Duality doesn't hurt that at all, unless you're, and if it's your fourth special summon, but nine of the time, since you don't really special summon them, you kind of, you normal summon by their effects. Uh, Duality doesn't do anything, it's pretty much a free one for one, and that's all it really is. The Dimension of Finisher, since, well, these guys are going back to your hand anyway, so it doesn't really matter about Dimension of Finisher. Uh, so that's just kind of how it goes there. So for the Traps Tier 3, Secret Techniques of the Hermit Yokai. Hermit Yokai. Hermit Yokai. Yeah, this thing is good. Infernity Barrier for the deck. Um, Secret Technique of the Hermit Yokai is a really, really good card, but has a major setback, which is very unfortunate for, for the deck. And it is, in my opinion, kind of one of the big drawbacks that the Yosinju you have is this card right here. Uh, if you control, uh, when basically when a spell trap or monster effect is activated, why do you control a Hermit Yokai card and all the face of monsters you control, if any, are Hermit Yokai monsters negate the activation if you destroy it? Now, that's the downside. Now, the first part, if you control a Hermit Yokai card, okay, that's not that big of a deal because you have, that's why you have the pendulums. So, now, because the Hermit Yokai cards, we're going to activate them in the pendulum zone, just put them in the pendulum zone, and now the Secret Technique is automatically alive, even though we have no monsters because it does state if any. Now, if the card said, or if the only monsters you control were Yosinju monsters, uh, that would make the deck a little more better in terms of versatility. And just kind of creativity, in my opinion. But that is what hurts the creativity of the deck because you're limited what you can actually play, which is a big bummer. Because I had like pretty cool ideas for the deck. Uh, I still might try out, but uh, secret techniques does kind of limit your options, and it's very, very unfortunate, in my opinion. So I'm really hoping they give more to the deck. I can exceed or sink or something. They really expand in the universe that they have since you have because. Uh, I feel like these guys have a lot of potential to become a really, really powerful deck. They just need more push, need more cards, need more powerful monsters. They need, uh, it's more of a lot of things, really. But I feel like if they got the right support, these guys could definitely become a powerhouse just because of the fact that they can hurt a lot of things. 
Uh, Magic Console, same thing with Division of Finisher. Uh, just kind of a graveyard bound decks, and again, they're returning to my hand anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Soul Drain just stopped things that's on our chain. Uh, this really hurts all. It, it, it hurts quite a bit of decks, it really does. It's pretty cool. Uh, then we have the Warning Bomb, the Strange Compose, and the Double Deep Press, and just kind of my, my basic trap lineup. Uh, originally, the deck wasn't running these, but I put them in because of the fact that I like having defense. Because. You're not going to have any monsters on the field down at the time, and I feel like you need some type of defense from your opponent because in case they want to try to OTK your ass or something, something annoying, you know, you kind of want to have that base protection uh, to protect your life points and just basically kind of control the board a little bit more. Uh, so I like that. Now, the original ability was running emptiness, but again, I wanted to kind of base it off of something I would play IRL versus something online. If you're playing online, Emptiness is definitely a good card to swell. It doesn't hurt you at all, and your monsters are going back to that anyway instead of from through the graveyard, so Emptiness won't really be affected by the deck all too much. So anyway, on to the extra deck. Well, pretty much, you don't really go into this all that much, but it's there in case you need it. It's sort of like Rocks on Innocence. You don't really go into an extra deck with Rocks on that much, but you still have it just in case you may need it. You may run a situation where you may need that extra deck. So you're playing two Lightning Chidori, which is usually one of the go-to cards you're going to go to since it's really easy to bring out in the deck. Really awesome card, of course. Uh, the Dark Revenant, XC Dragon, the number one on three, number 101, Castell, Axiton Knight, Cowboy, Abyss and Wilder, uh, which, so happy, finally got a reprint. They cannot be finally reprinting that. That's actually really cool. Number 82, uh, Brother of the Fire Fist, Tiger King, we have so Telenite Delta Rose. I love this card. So awesome one. Crazy box for the nasty skill drain players. Like, you know what? I'm gonna fuck with you and your young century shit skill drain. Ha! Huh? Crazy box, and I can attack the 3k. That, that's awesome. And then the Diamond Diary Wolf, because, well, everything's a Beast Warrior, so it's pretty much Scrap Dragon for the deck, in a sense, if you have two uses out of it. Usually only one, because you trip it itself sometimes, but, you know, you, have, you can have an option of two uses if you so wish to. But anyway, that is your Sinju's. In a nutshell, uh, like I said, there's more of a s control variant. Now you can also go with a pendulum variant using a bunch of the pendulums monsters that you uh, want to run. Because you have things like the uh, Dai Bakazi, the Malivin Hermit Yoka, you know, you have a lot of different things you can actually run the deck. You know, you can run Bear and stuff. So, uh, this is just one way to play the deck, and I like it a lot. It is working on I, mean, I do plan on building this version in real life whenever the stuff comes out so anyway give me your thoughts on this deck in the comment section below and i'm interested to hear you guys just thoughts on this deck any ideas you may have for this uh again like i said last man version just more like kind of control the board but i like it a lot uh so anyway hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next video